Hello everyone, it's Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life and I'm here to do day one. Yay! So story number one for our December daily 2023. I took this photo of our house and I've got plans to work with that. I actually think it's going to go on this side. And then I have this lovely um, pocket that I had in my foundation pages and this felt one from couple Decembers ago and my plan is to do one two all I don't know um of those in there as well and I'm not exactly sure the story on this side um I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing on this side but on this side my plan is to use my joy word that I cut out and this transparency that should line up and kind of highlight that's where my craft room is. This is literally that window. I'm standing right there. So that's pretty fun. And that's going to go on this side. And then I'm going to create um, one of the pockets from the mini books from the um, Try This product play lesson. I'm going to try and put that down there using this Joy Vellum as well. And then this card that will slip out of there and have a quote that I saw Ali share. So again, really trying to represent joy. So that is my rough draft idea. So I'll get you on fast forward and let's see what I can come up with. The first thing I'm gonna do is decide which pattern paper I wanna use on the left-hand side. I am gonna look through all of the four choices I gave myself. I just wanted something that was subtle and would play well against my photo. I do decide to go with the green diagonal stripe one, which is really kind of a great thing because I didn't know, know how else to use that paper. It wasn't my favorite out of the collection. It, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Just there's a lot of other people, papers I would have enjoyed. I'm like, I'm hoarding, right? <laughs> so I was excited to get this. Now I can say I've used it and that's awesome. I'm not, you know, not using my things. And I'm just showing you here how I'm able to get it taped onto the back of my reason why page, which is of course on a transparency. So I simply, I do a mix of red line adhesive and tear apart tape so that the red line, has, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then the rest of it is um, in place as well. And then I'm not wasting a bunch of red line cause it's a little pricey to be honest with you. And <laughs> I don't wanna waste it all. So this is my way of being able to use my cheap tear apart tape, but know that it's, it's not gonna go anywhere. And then I just cut a piece of white cardstock to put my photo on. And my plan for this side to kind of jazz it up a bit is I have some gold washi, which I think came in last year's main kit. And I'm just going to take that and do one kind of border around it. With the exception of the side that has the hole punches, I do three lines so that it's fully covered and you don't see any of the white. And I think it worked perfectly. I didn't, um, it, I tried to put some other pattern papers next to it to decide if I thought it would look nice next to the green um, diagonal. And it just, it wasn't working for me. It was getting too much. And so that was my option there. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of this trim to the side and it fits perfectly. Got my joy on there that I'm gonna stitch with just one line of stitching right in the middle so that was nice and easy to get on. I didn't have to worry about fussing with trying to hide tape because it is a vellum piece. And then I'm gonna do my little pocket that I talked to you about here. And I ended up just making my own, which I'll come back live and show you because I was struggling with how to use the idea from the December daily one. And what do I finally do? Oh, I'm also going to add some of that green trim over onto the other hand side too. So again, it's all nice and cohesive. Okay, just to kind of wrap this up and figure out what I want to do. So I had made the original little fun pocket from the product play class and I love it. I'm going to keep it and use it for something else, but it's actually too large for what I'm planning. I need it to be a little bit skinnier. So I kind of just did my own um, and I just folded it over. You crease it to make a little pocket and I'm going to get that down here. And then use this beautiful poem by Donna Ashworth that's a, that is um, Joy Chose You. And I'm going to slide that into here. 
gonna go here. I think I actually might use the Joy Chose You, like I might put it here. Um, and then for this side, I'm gonna use these tags, but I don't have photos or exactly how I'm going to make this work. So it's okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a work in process, but I'm gonna fussy cut out this little um, frame and I'm gonna get that on here. And then I'm gonna cut a little slice and put these tags in. And then they're going to be something to to give off the feeling of joy um, at the beginning of the month. And I just need to decide how I want to go about that. I just don't know yet. So these are going to stay blank. And then I'll have something on the back of it, either a pattern paper or a fun photo or something on the back that, again, I don't have yet. But that is my plan. So. And now in order to get my kind of pocket made with this tag, I'm just going to add two little slices and I have to, the first one, I never do the first one correctly. <laughs> you always have to make it just slightly larger than the area that you need to slide it in so that it moves freely um, inside. And then I make another one just underneath it and I will put some red line adhesive down at the bottom for just that bottom tag. And because I will have some sort of ribbon or something in the top one, it shouldn't fall too far down. I, I'll be able to still get it to move up and down and it should all work well. And then I'm gonna fussy cut out this cute little frame. To, it's a four by four card that I also think possibly came in last year's kit. I'm, I don't remember, uh, but I trimmed that and I'm going to stitch that onto the tag as well. And then it becomes a third pocket, which I love how that worked. And I'll have the option to put my photo either on the top of it, or you can slide it down into the as well. And you'll see that again, when I come live, this was a bit of a process this, this um, spread you guys, I, I just wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do. And that made things a little bit trickier for me on design wise and where things were going to go. But it all works out in the end, which is awesome. And now you're gonna pretty much see me put this all together now that my idea has been formulated and I know what I'm doing. So my photo is going down. I've got that nice and taped down. Again, a little bit of red line with some sticky tear apart tape. And then the same thing with the ribbon. Because I know it's going to be backed with day two, uh, to fold over the ribbon, I just added some scotch tape, which was awesome. That was a nice, easy way to go ahead and make that work. And then I'm making my little pocket down at the bottom with the joy vellum. And I just, again, for this one, for sure, red line adhesive, because I need that to not go anywhere no matter what. I do use a pearl matte finish for my photos. I get them printed from my local London Drugs. And it, once something is on there, it doesn't go anywhere. I've learned that, including stickers and things maybe I want off, they don't get off. So I shouldn't be so worried about it, but you never know. So I went ahead and did that and typed out, well, I didn't type out, but I hand wrote out my journaling for the poem Joy Chose You, which I found thanks to Allie. That's really neat. And now I'm just going to come back and I think I might share with you how I do the green trim as well, because that's really neat. And I wanted you to be able to see, I had to make sure that the trim I couldn't stitch it in a, is kind of what I'm trying to say, because I have the larger part where my tag needs to slide down on the back. I like the, the look of that. And so um, I needed it to not, or the, the smaller side. So I couldn't actually stitch this whole thing down because then it wouldn't be wide enough for my tag. And my way of being able to do that is I just, again, some tape, and then I make a fun little fold at the corner with some more tape to tape that down so I know it's not going anywhere. And then I repeat and I repeat, and then I just, again, tuck the little edges down, use some scotch tape just at the very back of it where it's not gonna be affected by the tape. And that was able to make that happen. And I love, again, I really love this. Adding that green to each side, I think helped show you that this was one cohesive page and a spread versus the idea of it being two different kind of stories because all in all it's it's one story just told in a few different ways and i will come back live to kind of explain how i decided to 
to use my tag and what my tag is going to be about. Um, because again, at this moment, I wasn't really sure. But the final thing I'm going to share with you before I come live is that I did add one of the plastic trees from this year's kit to add a little bit of fun flair. All right, you guys, all done. So this side is done. This side is going to be a work in progress through December. And so let's just walk through it. I actually think most of it filmed. So I, I did, re I looked back and the only thing you really missed was me gluing the number one and this little bit down. So that, that's good. So I have my card here. Um, the only thing I don't know is if I'm gonna just glue it down and have it pull out, or if I'm gonna include a photo or two of me, of me experiencing joy and all of that in here. So this is kind of like my joy um, page. So there's that one, and it just slips back in its pocket. And I just hand wrote out, hand wrote out the um, poem. And then on this side is where and it's going to depend on. Um, and and my plan here is I've got my two pockets, which I talked about. Those are in there. I stitched. So I even have like a third pocket option, which I love. I think I might just put a photo in there, to be honest with you, like actually tuck it in. So it's got that little bit of, um, it's kind of like translucent. I don't know. We'll see when the time comes. And then uh, when you pull this one out, you'll finally see it says these December stories. So that is covering, but that's okay. I'm not that upset about that. Um, but on this side, I used the red uh, 1 to 10 card and I just trimmed out the red. I am going to have to line this up and trim it all at the end, which I will do. Excuse me. So yes, I am using the 1 through 10 card. Um, and I think I'm going to pick 10 moments in December where... Joy chose me or someone in my family. And I already have an example of it that happened today where we have a little um, kitten outside. He's a, a barn cat, but he's brand, pretty brand new. And it came out and Barrett got to see it and give it a little pet. And it was really adorable. And, you know, barn cats as they are. So it was a very special moment. He loved it. And he's like, oh, the kitty likes me and all of that. So you know, there was a moment of joy for him. And I think I'm going to document that. And then if I have a good photo, I'll slip it in there. And that Please. is going to do it for my day one. Is it the most aesthetically pleasing spread in the whole entire world? No. Am I upset about that? No, because I think I'm going to look back. And I think this is probably going to be one of my favorite days, just because of the way I've got it set up to have such fantastic stories. Um, and with that, I'm just very, very happy. So thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you all have so much fun creating your first story for your December daily. Remember, please make it for you and what you want it to look like. Do not, don't worry about comparing. Your album is for you and your family. So please love it for that. And I will see you all again soon. Bye, everyone.